kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 2 of my video series on online music player app using Firebase in Android Studio. Alright guys so in my first part of the video I had shown you the demo of how the app will look like and now in this video first of all we will add the dependencies uh, required dependencies and after that we will uh, add the integrate the Firebase with our Android Studio project. So let's begin without wasting any time. So first of all, for the build.gradle, we first of all uh, we will be requiring the Picasso library for the image dis for displaying the image. So here I write compile. In your case, if your Android Studio version is three or above, so you will need to use the implementation instead of this compile. So uh, as I have Android Studio 2.3.3, so I am using the old compile but it is now deprecated so first of all the first dependency here will be the picasso library so here i can write com dot scale up dot picasso dot picasso 2.71828 all right and after that we will be requiring some more uh, dependencies but before that let's add the Marvin dependency so here I can say Marvin and inside that we can write URL marvin.google.com and now I need to click on sync now so that it is successfully synchronized with our project and Okay, so now it is uh, easily, it is now integrated with the project. The next thing which we, okay, so it is saying an error because we need to include the jetpack.io also. Now we need to click on try again and now I hope that this time the error is removed. Okay, so there was a mistake. I instead of this dot there is this colon sign and I hope that now the error is removed. Alright, then after that we will be requiring the cycler view and the card view also the material design dependency. So first of all, let's click on file. Okay, so we need to wait until the gradle synchronization is finished. Okay, so now it is successfully uh, integrated with our project. Now go to file, then go to project structure, then click on dependencies and click on plus, then click on library dependency and then try to add the recycler dependency here. Click OK, then we need to add the card view dependency. Click OK, then we need to use design dependency then click ok alright and now click on ok now these libraries will be integrated to our project then we will be requiring the uh, ok so now we will require the a circle image view so I will just copy that and paste it here so now uh, you can just follow me so here I have copied this 
the circle image view dependency. Alright, this is also the dependency which we require. Then another thing. Okay, so now the next step is we now need to integrate the Firebase with our project. So for that, go to Firebase console, then create a new project. As I already have created the project, so I will click on it. And here I have this app. So first of all, I will remove the app. In, in your case, you don't need to do this. All right. So now when you go here, why it is still showing me the app? Okay, so there you can see there are no apps. Okay, so I need to refresh the page. Okay, so here we need to add the app to our Firebase console. So for that we need the uh, app package name. So go to your Windows Gradle and this is your package name. Just copy that and paste it here and you don't need to enter the SHA-1 uh, here. You just need to click on the registered app and now there will be this download uh, Google services.json file. So you need to download this file and here we have this file so let me let me delete these two files and let me download it again and here we have got our file so let's just cut that and open your project and go to project view then here you can just paste it here all right after that you just need to follow the instructions so the first instruction here will be that you need to just copy that and paste it here then you need to copy this bottom line and paste it open this and paste it here and now your file base is successfully integrated with your android studio project all right so after that the first thing is you need to set up the sign in method okay so in this case you don't need any sign in method so go to your database and here you need to click on create database and make sure that you select this uh, test mode okay so it means that anyone with your uh, database reference will be able to be able to read or write to your database so you, so you just need to click on enable and now the database is open to all so you can just uh, do the, uh, all your work all right guys so now we need to integrate the firebase uh, storage and the firebase uh, database dependency so what you can do is you can say integrate firebase Or I have already copied these two dependencies so I will just paste it so first one is the storage and it is the version 16.0.5 the next one is the Firebase database and it is 16.0.6 all right so now you just need to click on sync now so now there these are all the dependencies which you will be requiring for this project so now we now need to Okay, so here it is saying an error because, okay, so I think we need to use 28.0.0, uh, then let's see if it works for all or not. Alright, so now I will click on sync now and let's see if it works or not. Alright guys, so now the all the errors are removed. So
so the first thing is we need to say uh, we now need we have easily integrated the all the dependencies and integrated the firebase so i think that is enough for today so this was the part two of my video series and now in the next part of the video we will start the main activity which uh, on which we will be first of all we will be developing the admin panel of our project so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye